Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? It is late night, late night where I am, but anyway, wanted to do the weekend update. Um, some of the cards that I saw, the first two, when I was doing this deck, uh, Lover's card at the bottom in this hand, Hierophant in this hand, uh, Two of Wands, making changes, trying to tweak your manifestation process. Uh, what, the Nine of Swords up all night? That bullshit. So, you, I mean, fuck it. It's love uh, for all of that. You got love on your mind. Trying to get it if you don't have it. Trying to make it right if you do have it. Um, if you are in that in-between phase, you kind of think you know, but you ain't sure. You're trying to make that get to another level. So all of that is weighing on you on top of Corona and all the rest of it going on. I have already shuffled and cut the cards, so let's see what we got going. We're doing Taurus Weekend Update. We're rolling Friday through Tuesday, the, tomorrow the 24th to Tuesday, July 28th. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost at the end of the month. Yes, sir. So, a reminder, I do my cards straight up. I don't do reversals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all up to something. Trying to make it happen. Um, some of you may be feeling blocked in the... This is Kathleen Dale's deck. I love it so much. Um, might be that you have blockages because you're not using everything that you have access to. You're not using all of your gifts and your talents for whatever that's worth. But let's get the rest of the cards on the board. Friday, pulls the Nine of Cups. Saturday, pulls the World card. Sunday, the Two of Swords. A lot of air here. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sunday, Monday, pulls the Hermit. Tuesday pulls the four swords. Yeah, it's airy. Even that ace of rods up here in the overall, just kind of windy and airy looking. Hell. Um, so that could be that you're dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or you're doing a lot of thinking. In some instances, maybe even overthinking. See what we got with the little card. So overall energy, the ace of wands is pulling the ace of swords. Who knew? <laughs> Back into the overall, the magician pulls the chariot. A reminder, I do my card straight up. If I didn't say that already, nine of cups pulls the two of swords. I told you it's a lot of air here. The world pulls the eight of cups. Two of swords pulls the emperor, the hermit. Pulls the Ace of Wands and the Four of Swords. Pulls the food. This is a damn jam-packed weekend with the hill. So you got one, two, three major cards on the board up to and including your overall energy. So when I'm looking at the front end of the overall energy with the Ace of Rods or the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords sitting on top, you are just right at the beginning of something. For some of you, this could be business. For some of you, this could be business and romance. For others of you, this could be just whatever little project or thing you're thinking about doing. You're at the beginning of it. Um, you got the action with the wines back here. And you got the communication with the air up here. So you are at the beginning. Um, for those of you that have the love thing going on, this weekend will probably open the door. Even if you've been talking on some level, this weekend will probably open the door for deeper communication. And that we're on the heels of a new moon ain't lost on me. So I get why that's up there in your overall. In the back end with the magician and the chariot, it's about dealing with the blockages, but knowing that you've got everything, all that shit right there, the skill, the compassion, the logic, fuck it, the critical thinking skills to go in whatever direction you want to go in because right now that is where many of you are. You're at a crossroads. 
um, in your love relationship. You may be at a crossroads at your job. And the point here that the universe wants you to know, get your ass up and get busy. What you waiting on? I'm just saying. This is in your overall, but some of you, you know, just might have that get up and go energy, but you don't really know. You don't have to know. Whatever it is that you, if you are doing this from your heart, whatever it is you're trying to do, go on. You, you got, you got all of that. Let's go. Let's get it moving. Um, for those of you that can't actually clarify that overall, that might be where the get up and go is coming from. And just... Just know that you, most of you know, but some of you are still kind of in this, this right here. You might not really be seeing the reality of your situation. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're, not, you're seeing the negative. That's not what I'm saying. You might not see the full totality of what you're dealing with, what you're working with. You might think you're only working with two glasses and a broke-ass cup. And you might be dealing with a whole set of dishes. I'm just saying. But you're looking at it from the, within and not the way people may perceive you. Um, and so that's where this comes in, talking to the Nine of Cups. You're trying to get your dreams to come true. That's exactly what I wrote on there. You, you really are. But again, you may be just dealing with doubts. Um... Even for some of you, maybe a little bit of self-sabotage. You know, you kicking yourself because you're not, you know you should be doing something, but you're not doing it, and you're not doing it because you feel like you're not worthy to do it. And this is all up in Uncabeza, and you need to get out your head with that. Just get out of it because you telling me you got everything that you need to do it. You just need to do it. You get to Saturday's Energy with the World card. That's what you need to do right now to expand your vision beyond what you know. So you can get off of the rocky shit and get onto some solid terra firma. So some of you, in order to get this fulfillment, you may need to travel. It's not just about the beginnings and endings with the world card. I like Kathleen Bell. She just adds something a little extra. I like the little extra. But really maybe you need to travel and if you can't physically travel because of corona and whatever else there's no reason why you can't have an australia night or an india night and cook the food and listen to the music and immerse yourself in the culture by doing that you're not only learning something new but you're helping yourself evolve come on now and progress because again trying to emotional you're dealing with emotional stuff that's not a bad thing but when you too far off in your emotions on some bullshit it makes it hard to see where the firm ground is and we're bulls so that ain't gonna last you long i'm just saying i'm just saying look around you open up open up because there may be more to what you're trying to attain than what you know and you might have already everything that you need but because you, you stuck up here in your head you're not seeing the totality of what's going on when we get to sunday's energy same thing except you need to, to make decisions decision to be made and you need to take some some it says calm action i'm going to say measured action for whatever it is that you're trying to do. If it's a new business you're trying to do, if you're trying to do this, if you're trying to be a tarot reader and start a YouTube channel, if you're trying to do hair and nails virtually, what, whatever your thing is, I'm just saying, you're right here. You're right here. And it's time to make a decision to do whatever it is and then set off. You already know you, you can choose which way you're going. Now let's get to where we're going. How about we just set the course this is major energy so you ain't got a lot of time to play you had all year to sit around think about it, eat bonbons and netflix and do some other shit it is time to get and go action it's scary let me tell you i'm on one end of this it is very i didn't realize when i'm talking to my cousin today she's like it's been saying that it's been saying that your job yeah and for many of us 
not only because of all the changes that are going on around us physically, but don't forget you got Uranus up in your shit for the next six years. So it is time for a lot of us to stop doing what we've been doing and complaining about how come we ain't got this, how come we ain't got that, and go ahead and get this and get that and quit waiting on somebody else to give it to you. I'm just saying. But you got to make that decision. You got to get out of your heads. You got the two of swords on the board twice on the top and the bottom. So it's 360. It's not just you're thinking about shit over here, but you, it's 360. You're doing this with everything. And now it is time for rubber to meet the road. It's time to make a decision. So then when we get to Monday, it's about discretion. I'm looking at everything on here. It's about the discretion. Um, you've made your decision. You've got that ooh-wee moment. Like, ah, oh, oh, yeah. Use your discretion on who you're dealing with, who you're talking to. At this point, I'm going to say any of you planning on any kind of big moves, romantically, professionally, whatever. Pick your thing. I probably wouldn't be doing a whole lot of talking at this point. This is an action period, so I probably would not be stopping to tell people along the side of the road, hey, guess what I decided to do? Fuck that. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Um, use your discretion, especially those of you with business, uh, even those of you dealing with romance. Uh, watch who you telling what. Is everybody that says they're your friend ain't necessarily the true thing, and they might not be as happy as they want you to think they are, that you done found a new boo-boo, and you trying to do the damn thing, it might not be so happy. So use your discretion, and it may be just a good dog on time that it is the hermit card, that you just go and isolate, and I don't mean just for corona, but isolate, so you can go ahead and start those first steps back to Sunday. Start those first steps of where you're trying to go. And see, it's one thing when you're at the beginning of something, you know, and you got people that might be in a situation to hold you back or pull you forward. But if you're not, if you're unsure, keep it to yourself. Go ahead and get a little further up the road. Then maybe, still using your discretion, you might be able to tell a friend or two. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know who needs to hear that. But you're here. It's the aha moment. And you got the hermit. So it's going to be about isolating. So you can get your head on straight and get a little grounded. And also about using some discretion when we get to Tuesday. The Four of Swords. You may still be some part of the other contemplating something. Um, you may be frustrated because things are not moving. Do you, 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 I mean, ain't nothing worse than coming up with a plan and got to do, made a decision and some more shit. And then now you got to sit and wait. Might be here, but don't be afraid to take the risk. And even in taking the risk, it, it may be frustrating. It may be you can't just jump out there and take the risk in that moment and you might have to get a running start i'm just saying i'm just saying same thing with love you might have to go back a mile or two and just get start jogging before you go into a full blast blowout run but you still need to take the risk even in your contemplation and your frustration it's about being vigilant and watching for the right moment the right opportunity and being willing still to take the risk despite all the ugly shit. Let's see where's the granny cards. Yeah. Do the granny cards. Hey. See what they have to say. All is well, Taurus. I don't feel I feel like a lot of your angst right now is in your brain. Um, I think actually the universe is ready. And you the one. <laughs> messing around in the bathroom trying to put on some more lipstick let go just let go and let it happen 
uh, I know I'm not the one to be talking this bullshit because I'm the last person to take my own advice. <laughs> I can't let go. I need to know. <laughs> Rapidly approaching a situation where I'm going to have to do just what I'm saying. I'm going to have to let go and keep moving forward. And know that, uh, look at that, ignore the haters. Know that uh, all will be well. See what the granny cards got. I'm gonna pull right up off the top. Be clear when speaking. Know your truth. And it's what's on the inside, baby. So this is communication master right here. <laughs> Do you love me? Check yes or no. Be clear when speaking. Uh, we still, you know, we still got some folks in the Mercury retrograde haze, you know, like they smoked it all. And I ain't mad at them because this last one was a doozy. Be clear when speaking. Know your truth. You can talk about taking a risk and trying to put your finger out the window and see which way the wind's blowing and got a decision to make it which way you're going. You can't do any of that without knowing your own truth. The good, the bad, the ugly. You're making a move and you're not sure that you need to make the move from an intellectual thinking point, but something that's propelling you to do it. Doesn't matter. You still need to know your truth. Still need to know who you are so that you know how to set up the right boundaries for what you're doing. And then it's what's on the inside. Especially if we're talking about love. But we can apply this to work, too. Because if you got all toxic, funky-ass feelings about your job, I'm just saying, what you there for? Shit don't feel good on the inside, you're not going to produce shit on the outside. You can sit up there all day, 9, 10 hours, and still not get shit done because you're not feeling it on the inside. Either way, if boo-boo is what you feeling on the inside, I guarantee you, Regardless of whatever goes on in the relationship, you're going to be more willing, and I ain't talking about no toxic, abusive relationship, but you're going to be more willing to work on it if you're doing it from a place that's within and not, oh, I like this person or I love this person because of what they have, whatever, material bullshit. I'm just saying. So it's what's on the inside. It truly is. And if you ain't feeling it, work love either way, don't do it. Just don't do it. Get the big cards and see what they have to say. Stay in your own skin. I think this came up in uh, the bonus money reading. Stay in your own skin. I know when you're making big decisions and you're taking risks and shit, Sometimes you feel like you just want to peel that shit off and just stand there and let the wind blow through you. Because you don't know. It's just not. That's the whole point. You're not supposed to, it's not supposed to be warm fuzzy. You, you need to stay in your own skin and deal with the change. A lot of times we just we want to do something and not deal with the change. Feel it. Stay in your own skin. Don't, don't run from that. What we say? It's what's on the inside. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Um, I don't know who needs to hear this, but love decision. You know, things may not look like you're used to them looking. It may be a little out there. You may be dealing with somebody that's a little out there. And not in a bad sense, but just they're out there. What's your heart telling you? If every time you talk about this person, you start trying to catch your breath, it ought to tell you something. I'm just saying. Listen to your heart. One more, and then I'm done. Da 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 da. <laughs> Gotta do that. Find something. I promise you, get on Facebook. There's some clowns on Facebook. Just find something and laugh. Just laugh and get some of that tension and some of that stress up off you. 
Taurus, I love you. You know I do. I will be back here soon with more fun and excitement. Uh, love y'all. Bye-bye.